Hi, welcome to clickmeproject.com. This video will lead us to the demo of Cyber Physical System Security with Deceptive Virtual Host for Industrial Control Networks. Cyber devices are used for the physical process. They control themselves and humans also interfere in the mechanism. Dynamic virtual honeypots are efficient for observing and attracting network intruder activity. Self-configuring honeypots are analyze the control system network traffic and it automatically adapts for that. Four-step algorithm has developed for automatic creation and update of a honeypot configuration. Automatically created virtual hosts were used in this system with an anonymously behavior system in an attack scenario. First of all, capture the packets that transferred in the network. Because in network, nodes can transfer the data so that these data are sent through packets. These packets are captured by using the software called Wireshark. This software is used to capture the packets that transferred from one node to another node. Using that captured data, we have to analyze the IP address that mostly used in that captured data. And also, we have to analyze the MAC that is mostly used in that system is also find out. And then, analyze the report that whether it is useful or not. And then, dynamic virtual host configuration. This dynamic virtual host configuration is used to the server for provide the correct service to the clients. For that we have to configure the honeypot. This is the fake system like a server. This configuration needs things. There are OS selection, Mac service port and then virtual host. These are the things that need to create the honeypot server. First of all, the OS is selected from that captured packet. If the data, the OS which is selected that is present in most times in that captured packet. And then the MAC creation. The MAC creation is also selected by the most occurrence that present in that captured packets. Likewise, the service port. This is the port number that used by that nodes in the network under the virtual host initiation. This initiation is used to create the virtual host that is the honeypot to provide the proper service to the clients. And then the attackers can't get the service from the server and also the attackers can't block the service provided by the server. First of all, run the homepage.java. So that right click the homepage.java and press run file. Now the frame will be opened. It is the home page. Just click this page. Here we have the button as capture packets. This button is used to capture the packets that transferred in the network. So that press capture packets. It will start the Wireshark software. Now the Wireshark software is started. Using this software, we can analyze the packets that are transferred in the network. First of all, we have to select the local area connection and then press start. Then the software will start to capture the packets that are transferred in the network. Now press stop. Now there are 982 packets that are captured from the network. And then go to file. And select export packet dissection as plain text file. And then save it as a notepad file. Now 
as save button now these analyzed data are stored and then press the browse button using this we can select the captured data that is saved as a notepad file and then press view these are the data that is captured in the network by using the Wireshark software first one is the serial number and the second one is the time that is that time and then the third one is source IP and then the fourth one is destination IP fifth one is the protocol used to buy that nodes and then the sixth one is length of the packet and then the seventh one is the information about the packets and then press next now we have to find out the number and the time that is the serial number and the time that is used in each packets we are having the 982 packets that are captured for that the serial numbers and then the time for each packet are displayed here and also the source IP and destination IP these are the source IPs that captured in the data this is the source IP and it is the destination IP likewise we find out the source IP and destination IP for 982 packets and then press next now press protocol it, this will show that the protocol that is used by each packet in, in first packet the LLMNR protocol is used and then in second one NBNS protocol is used likewise the protocols are captured for all the 981 packets and then press Ethernet in Ethernet there is the source and the destination MAC address are displayed this is the source MAC address and this is the destination MAC address these are captured in the Ethernet option and then press next now press the port this is the source port that is used by that system and then uh, this is the destination port that used by that system these are captured by using the Wireshark software and then press operating system using this we can find out the operating systems that used by that system the first one is Unix, second one is XP and then third one is Linux, fourth one is Unix likewise for all the captured packets it have the operating systems and then press next now we have to configure the honeypot now press honeypot configuration it shows that the destination IP protocol ethernet port number and uh, operating system all the attackers in the network targets this type of system and send the request to it so that the normal clients can get the service without any interruption the attackers can't block the service provided by the server and also the attackers can't block the data that get by the client.